All right, how's it going guys? Late Boy Scout and I'm here with Hank Strange of the Hank Strange Situation. Yes. How you doing, man? Good, thanks for coming out. First of all, visiting the Sunshine State, Florida. Yeah, man, happy and, to do it. Absolutely, and taking some time away from the family to hang out with us on the Hacienda. It is my honor to visit the Hacienda and join Hank Strange and his family here today. And uh, just a little bit about what I'm, what I'm doing here in Florida. So we've got family here, my wife does, and we came out in July to visit them, as some of you guys know from a previous video. And we came out for the holidays as well. So it is Christmas, be Christmas break basically right exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. And so uh, here we are in Florida, just enjoying some really, really unseasonal, really unseasonably <laughs> warm weather. It, actually... it doesn't get really cold here. Yeah. Where, where we are, we're in the northern central part of Florida. It does right. get a little cold, yeah. but usually at night, overnight, early in the morning. But yeah, this is still kind of warm for us, but nice actually. Yeah, warm. Yeah, warm even for Florida, but it's really yeah, nice. We exactly. got we got away from about a foot of snow, foot and a half of snow in Utah. On you Christmas missed a Day. yeah, so you you got a little bit of the white Christmas, and then we you got left. it. We woke okay. up to it, and then we took off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so no sledding, no none, none of that. that not on Christmas like Day. We did some of that on Christmas Eve, though. Okay. So what we're doing today, in addition to some other projects here on the uh, the Hacienda, Hacienda, with, this, with a strange family. Yes. What we're going to do today is a little bit of an interview. So I've got five questions for Hank Strange. Uh oh. Have you heard any of these questions yet? No, I don't know. What the positive? Are. No, I absolutely. Two Even questions if I correct did, would... already, so we only got three left. <laughs> Oh, Just really? Kidding. Just kidding. Oh, bye. So we've got five questions for Hank Strange. He doesn't know what's coming up. No, I don't. And I think this will be fun. Yeah. You guys, I wanted to introduce you guys to Hank Strange for a long time because I've been watching his channel. He had great SHOT Show coverage last year as well. Met him there. And, uh, you know, I thought it'd be great to bring him over to the Late Boy Scout channel and help him get to know you guys, help you guys get to know him. Awesome, man. Thank you for doing that. I've yeah. been a fan of your channel for a long time. I appreciate You're it. You're really hard working out there, man. I saw you at SHOT Show. You were everywhere. At... Do you have a twin? Because <laughs> <laughs> I saw you everywhere at SHOT Show last year. You know, I might actually. I might <laughs> have a twin, but I'm not sure. I think he does. All right. So, so question number one for Hank Strange. You ready? All right. Yes. All right, here it is. Can I wait? Get, do I get to call a friend or something like that? No, you got no lifelines oh. whatsoever. Okay. Here it is. So, Hank Strange is not your real name. No. That's that is one thing confirmed. Okay. So, where did the name Hank Strange come from, and what is it meant to convey? Well, it's I'm basically strange. People have always called me strange. I've never done the normal things or what you would expect from me wherever I've lived. So, I've always had that kind of not really as a moniker but people go that guy's strange you know and even though my real name's not Hank Strange uh, Henry is in my name and uh, it's like Hank is short for Henry mm -hmm. so that's how that all came about you know all right all right Hank strange so it is kind of my name but not really it's a catchy name yeah. one way or another yeah and I think it's uh, it seems to go over well for your audience yeah, something and people can remember. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very memorable. I like that about it. Yeah, that's cool. good. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, awesome. All right. On your channel's about page, you call yourself a novice firearms enthusiast. Right. When did that enthusiasm start and what sparked it? I've always been into guns. As far back as I can remember, I've always been into guns. Uh, my dad's an engineer by training, so I always had Popular Mechanics and all those cool magazine, Popular Science. and all those kinds of things around okay. and always made guns out of Legos and, <laughs> and clay and cardboard and all, you know, just my fingers when I had right. to, you know, when we were really broke. Right, right. <laughs> but I never really owned guns and had an opportunity to shoot them until recently. So when I came here to America, I grew up in New York and <laughs> you really can't have guns in New York unless you're a police officer, very wealthy and famous, or you're a criminal. Right, right. So. We eventually moved out of New York, moved around the, the country, and settled here in Florida. And one of the biggest reasons I did it is because Florida is like a real free state. You know, they yeah. allow you to have guns. You can do, you can easily get your hands on a lot of really cool guns and yep. do a lot of shooting. You can shoot here in your backyard as we're going to do. Awesome. So that's, um, it's been, I've been living here in the country for about, uh, I'm going to say like seven years or so. And I finally decided, yeah, I'm going to start buying these guns now. And my channel comes from the point of view as someone who's learning and I'm sharing my learning process with my audience out there. I can very much relate to that as somebody who's been into guns maybe six or eight years mm -hmm. is, is about it for me. I think it was yeah right around 2008, 2009 is when I first got my first uh, shotgun. Okay. And prior to that, I didn't own any of my own guns. Okay. I had um, 
or any of my own guns. I didn't own any guns. Right. Um, I shot friends' guns and things like that and looked at different guns for years and years and wanted to buy them, but uh, I never owned any myself. Did anyone in the family have guns? You know, my dad had a couple when I was a little okay. kid. I think mm -hmm. he had a pistol and a rifle of some sort. I didn't really know much about them. Right. But uh, he never really took me shooting, so it wasn't really a thing I grew up with at all. Yeah. So uh, I think it was about the time that I started having kids that I realized there's a lot going on in my life right now. Yeah. There's a lot to protect and a lot yes. to, you know, be responsible for. Mm -hmm. And thinking about guns and thinking about that as a way to uh, maintain that security in my family and in my home mm -hmm. um, became something I was really serious about and decided to get into. But that's cool to hear that we're both in a way, sort of yeah. novice firearms. Right, activities. we didn't come from military or law right. enforcement background. Yeah. You know, and then my my parents, where I grew up, my parents, like, you're, they're really against guns. It's kind of like socialist, communist place. So yeah, yeah. My parents are not against guns, but they're kind of afraid of them because they didn't grow up with them. Yeah. I didn't want my kids to grow up like that. Yeah. I wanted them to know about guns, how to be safe, how to use them as tools to protect themselves and protect other people. So yep. I feel exactly yeah. the same way, and I came from a very similar background. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks for sharing everything yeah. that you do with us, man. Hey, absolutely, man. Awesome. All right, and thank you. Yeah. Thank you for doing so that, I think too. It, is that Is that like passing on that? Did I pass yet? You got a, that's a correct answer. Yes, okay. you got it. But I'm not like 60%. Good. No, you're, oh. well, you're, you're good. Because I answered two. This is technically, what, three now? This no. is number three we're coming up on now. <laughs> okay, no. All right, number three. Sometimes as creators, we don't fully anticipate how our videos will be received. Okay. What videos have you released that received either a surprisingly positive or surprisingly negative response? Okay, um, I think uh, there's kind of like two videos in that category. One video that I, and I hate both of them, by All the right. way. <laughs> but I put up stuff because I'm a content creator yeah. and I really, I make something and then I put it out there and let other people judge it. So one of the videos I did, I actually did a video that I did no editing. I shot it on a tablet that's an Android tablet and it's with the KSG. And I put 24 rounds through it at one time because I use those little mini shot shells. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just put everything out there so people can see it. It ran it flawlessly. I forgot to put on my Air Pro. Um, I'm not a fan of the Android. I hate the camera on it. The sound was horrible. But people really love that video. Mm. <laughs> I guess no one really did anything like that up to that point. Okay. So it's been shared a lot. Yeah. And it's uh, one of the successful videos on my channel, about 150,000 views at this point. Wow, that's great. So, yeah, I would, put, great. I would put that in that category. And uh, another video that I did like that real quick is I did this mud torture test with a friend of mine and we tested a, an AR-15, an AK-47, and a Tavor that I just got. I literally had it for about a couple of days and never shot it. And we went out and we were jumping around in mud, <laughs> you know, and I had on a plate that I couldn't even, I thought my heart was going to explode. Yeah. It's like my, I hate that video, you know, because I'm so terrible and fat and, you know, and people love it. It's That's over awesome. an hour long, man. Wow. But people look at it and they either people hate me or they hate him or they hate this gun yeah. and they fight about it. Yeah, yeah. And there's little wars I see people <laughs> having in the video. So, but I don't really like it. You know, I'm always like, why don't you guys stop watching this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, but I don't want to take it down because it's the truth of what happened. Mm -hmm. And as an artist, I feel like I need to put that out there and let people take it for what it is. Very nice, very nice. Cool. Yeah, those videos take us by surprise sometimes. Yeah. You know, some of them got kind of spur of the moment or we don't really, we get into it and it goes a direction we don't anticipate right. or something like that. Right. But sometimes they do really Have well. Have you had that? I've had that on a couple. Okay. Um, but yeah. It well, maybe we might talk about that in your final yes. question. We'll see. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll, we'll just have to see about it. You're going to have to watch that. All right. I am going to, uh, I'm going to adjust my questions now. No, Listen. actually, I was going to ask you the same thing, which is really crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you exactly. All right. I have some. I have a question like this. I'll prove it to you when I whip out my iPhone. Okay, what's the next one? We'll see you in a moment. Yeah. All right, number four. Do you have a grail gun? Something grail you gun. aspire to own one day? If hmm. so, what is it? If not, why not? Hmm. You know what? Uh, yeah, actually, I can think of something like that. You know, it would be from Cry Precision. They have this, I think it's, what is it, the 612. Have you seen that? Um, it's basically wait. a bullpup shotgun, but yeah. it uses a like a cylindrical barrel style loading, almost like you would in a revolver. And that's the magazine, right? Yeah, it's like a and it's got these, magazine. Yeah, and it's got these 12 gauges in there that you could pop in and shoot it. Okay. And then pop that out and have another one, throw okay, it I think in I there. I have seen that. And it can go, it can actually go on the rail of an AR. 
Oh yeah, I've definitely seen that. Yes, I've been seeing that at SHOT Show since I've been going to SHOT Show for yeah. the last two years or so. Yeah. And uh, it still hasn't come out to the public. I would love to have one of those, man. Cause that does look cool. Yeah. Wow, you know? all right, cool. So you call that say, your grail gun. If I would you say, have... yeah, until I achieve it, <laughs> temporarily. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, lastly, this should be an easy one, but we'll see. Okay. What this gun, is probably the one I'm gonna mess up on. What gun that you currently own would you call your favorite? What gun that I currently own? Uh, man, it would be easier to answer this about my children. No, no, no. I shouldn't say that's not true. That's not true. Lola's gonna get me for that one. I love, I love both of my boys. You know what? If um, I would say my favorite gun that I currently own is the first one I bought, which is a Glock 19 Gen 4. All right. Yeah. Why? It's, uh, you know, I I use it when I train. I don't, I don't think I've done too many videos with it, but I use it when I go training. I carry it all the time. It's on me right now, and I found it to be reliable, and when I think something, that gun does what I need it to mm -hmm. do. You know, it's reliable, mm -hmm. accurate, works. I haven't, I haven't really modified mine or done anything to it, and uh, even though I like weird guns and I like all these cool guns out there, I don't know if that falls into the, that category, and that's why I like it because it's reliable. It's like old faithful to me. So very I nice. Would say that that is that's a good reason to like a gun. Yeah, you know it's reliable. It does what you want it to do, and doesn't have any frills. Yeah, you know it's just it's just a gun that's there for you. Yeah, it's a it's a purpose built tool. Does what it needs to do. I don't know if you find things like that, but you get your hands on so many different guns and so many cool knives. Mm -hmm. But the one that you use all the time and is always there and does what you need it to do. You know? Yeah, you become attached to those. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. totally understand that. Cool. Absolutely. All right, that's five questions for Hank Strange, and congratulations, man. Okay, do I get a you certificate? You answered everything cor correctly. Okay. The certificate is in the mail, <laughs> I think. Okay. I'll, uh, my yeah. secretary I'm going to be checking my mail. <laughs> it better be, man. I want it to be on sheepskin with, you know, gold lettering. Yeah. Can I? No? Yeah, I, um, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Definitely tune in to Hank Strange. And I'll have his channel link down in the description below. Any last words, Hank? Uh, thanks for having me on the channel, Scout, man. Right. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Keep doing what you do. Scout's Thank almost you. at 120,000 subscribers, so you guys should go out there and help. Let's get it at 120. I want to see the celebration. Woo! Yeah. yeah, and we'll see you guys at SHOT Show, too. Peace out.